the right outfit to get us going. Health and fitness expert Stephanie Mansour is here to show us the outfit options for yoga, Pilates, cycling, so much more. Thanks for being here this of morning. Of course, thanks for having me. Can't I just wear an old t-shirt? Why do I need special <laughs> clothes? I know, so if you actually work out regularly and you don't need extra motivation, then who cares what you're wearing? Okay. But a lot of my private weight loss clients and a lot of people in general, you know, we're hitting the end of January here and a lot of that excitement for those New Year's resolutions sure. is fading. So or mine never really even got started. Yeah. <laughs> Stephanie, I'll be honest. Well, then my solution is here for you today, Sally, because if you can at least look the part, you know, it's kind mm -hmm. of like showing up to a job interview. You want to dress for the role that you want. So if you're having a hard time getting motivated to go to the gym, maybe dress for that workout, and that's going to be an incentive to actually get to the gym. And I should get up and I should... Yes, exactly. Instead of leaving it on my shelf. Right, and athleisure wear is very popular right now. It's a huge trend, and a lot of major retailers are showing clothes that are not just for women, but also for men and for teens. So I've got some great looks here. You brought All models today. I brought models. I know. I'm so excited to share them with you. Look at this look. <laughs> I know. So this is Meredith. She's wearing everything is from JCPenney here, and this is a great look for going to a yoga or a Pilates class. And the reason why is because she's got this nice, lightweight, uh, it's a cross pullover hoodie, and she can take this off in a yoga or Pilates class after she's warmed up, and she has a tighter layer on underneath, because if you're in a downward facing dog... You don't want your shirt riding exactly. up. Exactly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's really embarrassing. And then she's got these cute leggings here, and just adding a pop of color can actually help you to feel more excited when you're working out. And then finally, her shoes are slip-on shoes. So this is great if you're running late, and you don't want to have to untie your shoes, take off your socks to walk into the yoga or Pilates studio. These are sketchers and you can just take them on, take them off, and then you're done and ready to go. And you also look okay to go to the grocery store afterwards. Right, exactly. Yeah, you could run around town on, on the weekend or, you know, on the weeknight after you've gone to your class. I, the motivation, though, is you always have to, like, get there and not just right. sit right. around. Because a lot of people, come on, be honest, they just sit around in the yoga pants they, all day. Yes, they do. They do. And that's why it's just so important, you know, mindset first. So okay. you're putting on the clothes for a reason, and they're serving a purpose. And it's so, not just women we're talking about today. Not, right. We've got a guy here. His name's Skyler, and he's wearing a fleece hoodie and fleece pants. Now, this is a great outfit if you are trying to, again, bop around town, but he's doing high-intensity interval training workouts and also cycling and spinning. <laughs> so when you're doing workouts that require a little bit more movement and bouncing, it's great to be able to wear clothes that you can wear in the winter when you're outside, but also underneath not a form-fitted shirt. So wearing a t-shirt underneath, that's going to help it so you can move and you've got, you know, you don't feel so restricted tight and also you want to make sure you're wearing those cross trainer shoes not slip-ons for those more um, movement and impactful workouts because the last thing you want to do if you do get yourself to the gym or wherever you're working out is be messing around right with your clothes yeah exactly and and you know I, speaking of messing around I do like how the pants are a little bit looser this is something for men you don't want super tight sweat pants because if he wants to put them on after the gym over his spinning or cycling shorts you know you don't want the sweat to stick to the tight pants exactly that's not a good <laughs> Look, Steph. Right. <laughs> okay, we have one more model moving yeah. into place. Yes, so going into kids and even teens, this is Alyssa, and she looks super cute here in these, you know, multicolored pastel capris, and that's really in for spring. And this is a popular trend for younger kids as oh, yeah. well because she can go from school to a play date after, or she can go on the weekends, she can go around town, go to lunch, and then she can go play a sport. And I love how they have the zip up hoodie here because this is something that she can easily take on take off she doesn't feel again constricted and she feels like you know her head's in gear to actually work out so this is a great look um for any type of workout. No, you're right. And uh, my kids' school, that is definitely the look, wearing the sporty, yeah. sporty clothing. What do we call yeah. it? Athleisure? Yeah, athleisure. Athleisure. <laughs> okay, and for more information on Steph, you can always get it going with stepituppchallenge.com. And we're going to take one more look at all of our models. Yeah, they Thanks look for so great. bringing them in today. <laughs> Thanks for having us. You're going to get us inspired yes. to get out there and work out. Yes. Because I admit, I need the help. I know. It just takes one out for an okay. outfit, Sally. You can do it. I'm going to go buy some athleisure. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Stephanie. <laughs>